Britain's troubled bus network is set for a major overhaul. Transport Minister Ben Carroll has started the search for an operator to run a third of Melbourne's network, with a focus on new technology and passenger information. Andrew Lund has the details. Melbourne's buses don't have a good reputation, but the Transport Minister wants that to change. We want buses that people want to get on, don't see as a chore to get on. The government's calling for expressions of interest for a 10-year contract to run 30% of the city's bus services, currently operated by Transdev, with a focus on providing passengers with real-time information. We're wanting ideas that are technologically driven, we want more and more services where people will know when their bus is going to turn up. RMIT researcher Steve Pemberton says the Transport Minister could start improving services by ripping up the bus map and replacing the current patchwork service with a grid pattern featuring fewer routes but higher frequency. It would be better to spend some more money to run buses every 10 minutes on main roads, give people a really reliable, frequent service. His study found the changes could achieve time savings of roughly 10 to 14 per cent around Melbourne's inner core and 15 to more than 20 per cent in many outer suburbs. But even though some trips will take longer for some people, overall there'll be a lot more opportunity for people to make a lot more trips to a lot more places and that they'll be quicker. Bus reform has proved politically difficult but the Public Transport Users Association is urging the government to take advantage of lower patronage during the pandemic to overhaul the system. Now is a good time to look at public transport as a whole and work out what was working, what was not working. The government hopes to sign the new bus contract late next year. Andrew Lund, Nine News.